so I'm, I'm just I'm just going to focus on um, the neurotoxins or the, the uh, emissions that are uh, toxic to the brains, especially of children. So um, Energy Answers, as Destiny said, is a uh, has been permitted to emit a thousand pounds of lead in the air every year. Can you hear me? A thousand pounds yeah. of lead every year. Yeah. That's a lot. That's really a lot. There's it's nothing lot. else that's emitting that much in Baltimore City. It's toxic to the brain, especially for children. Children ingest more and the, uh, then they absorb more of the lead. And the developing brain is very sensitive to it, as Destiny says, the effects are irreversible and there's no safe level. And they can have the effects of reducing IQ and causing behavioral changes, including increased distract distractibility, impulsivity, short attention span, and inability to follow directions. Uh, these effects on brain lead to economic losses. How do they lead to economic losses if a child develops into an adult who has a lower IQ than they would have, if their uh, behavior is less good than it would be, they're going to earn less money in their lifetime. In fact, an estimation was made, let's say all, uh, this was done in 2007, all the children in the United States uh, who had lead poisoning, let me see if I can uh, find this, um, uh, the estimated losses in their lifetime would be $43 billion. You know, if you add up all those children, their lifetime of earnings. And the World Health Organization estimates that the U.S., for every dollar we spend to reduce lead exposure, we save 17 to 20, $220. Uh, to put it in perspective, that's a better cost saving than even vaccines, which are like the gold standard of preventive care. So prevention rather than cure is the only treatment. We don't treat lead poisoning, we prevent it. And that is why we shouldn't be putting a thousand pounds of lead into the air, uh, into Curtis Bay's air every year from Energy Answers. Uh, quickly, another mercury rather than, um, is, is another heavy metal toxic to the brain, especially to the fetus late in development in pregnancy, and is exposures largely from fish in the mother's diet. Now, Energy Answers is permitted, as Destiny said, to emit 240 pounds of mercury every year. Children exposed before birth show problems with coordination, memory, attention, and again, IQ. Though pollution is worldwide, there are hot spots with mercury and related to the sources of emission. 